Hi everyone. This practice is going to be about an hour long, another intermediate vinyasa flow featuring some back bending, some heart opening, and some balancing postures. Uh, if you need props, be sure to have them nearby, but otherwise just make sure that you modify and take the appropriate variations for poses that are right for you to keep your body safe and to honor your body and practice where it is today. As always, all these videos are offered on a donation basis, so if you're not able to offer anything for them, don't worry about it. I know that we're in the middle of a pandemic. Some of you are unemployed or just struggling, and I totally get that. Uh, if you are able to and wanting to donate, you can do that via Venmo or PayPal, which those will be linked in the description of this video. Um, but again, not required. I wanna make yoga accessible for everyone, whether you're financially um, on top of it or not. Uh, and when you are ready, we are going to get started facing the top of our mat in Sukhasana or easy seated pose. And you can either sit with the legs crossed, you could sit back on the heels in a thunderbolt position instead, on or off of a block either way, or a blanket. And maybe for you, sitting just isn't grounding for you right now you're not able to just kind of drop into that posture and if that's the case then take something else maybe you take child's pose or you lie down on your back maybe you even stand if you feel like you need more than sitting wherever you are allow your hands to find a comfortable place whether that's on the knees in the lap by your sides allow the eyes to close once you're ready With the eyes closed, feel the face soften, the eyelids, the forehead, the jawline. Feel the sits bones and the lower half of the body become more grounded into the mat beneath you. If you're outside like I am, perhaps you feel your pelvis become heavier into the earth physically beneath you. Feel that the spine is tall and long, that the shoulders are over the hips. The back of the neck is long. And from wherever you are, just begin to breathe. With each inhale, feel the breath rise from the base of the spine up through the top of the head. With each exhale, feel the breath fall down the length of the spine, ending at its base. Feeling the belly inflate with every inhale, followed by the chest. And feeling the chest deflate with every exhale, followed by the belly. Use the breath and your focus on your breath as a way to become present to shift our awareness that for most of us is constantly shifting from one thing to another, from past, present to future all the time. Focus it in on right now on this breath and the next one. Moment to moment, breath to breath, letting your awareness follow that and allowing this practice today to be the practice of paying attention, allowing it to be an opportunity to pay attention and be present for yourself in ways that perhaps you haven't been thus far today or this week or maybe ever. Take a few more breaths, feeling the rise and the fall, the filling and emptying, the coming and going. Notice the sounds that are happening around you here and now. If you're outside, there might be the sounds of birds or bugs, people, cars, wind. If you're inside, perhaps you hear people talking, a TV in another room, cars outside, the dishwasher, whatever it is. 
Listen to the sounds that are around you. And instead of thinking of those things as something separate from or a distraction to your practice, bring them in as part of your practice, allowing them to be as they are and noticing them as they come and go too, from this moment to the next. From here, gently place one hand on top of your other at your heart. Gently bow the chin towards your chest. And take a moment from this space to guide and set your intention for this practice. Whether it be you need something physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, doesn't matter. Thank yourself for a moment for choosing to practice knowing that even before we begin to move that your ability to show up and commit the time to yourself is already enough and together we seal those intentions and that gratitude in by taking a deep breath in through the nose and a long breath through the mouth deep inhale exhale And from here, gently bring, blink the eyes open. Take the hands onto the knees, coming to seated if you weren't already. And as you inhale, bend at the elbows, draw the heart forward, look up, finding a seated cow pose. And as you exhale, round the spine, drop the chin, finding seated cat. And inhale to cow, drop the chest forward, shoulders back. Exhale to seated cat, drop the chin, round the spine. And inhale to cow, heart forward. Exhale to cat. One more time, inhale. And exhale. And inhaling to neutral, reaching the arms up overhead, looking up. And as you exhale, twisting to the right, taking the left arm across, bring the right arm behind you to support the spine up tall. Deep breath in, breath out. Inhale and exhale. Inhaling to center, the arms reach. Exhale, twist to the left. A deep breath in breath out. Deep breath in and out. Inhale to center, reach the arms. And as you exhale, bring the arms back behind you, either grabbing a hold of opposite elbows or interlacing fingers behind you. And if you're interlacing fingers, try to bring the knuckles down into your mat pressing gently against them, drawing the elbows towards each other. So a slight bend in the elbows to be able to bring them closer together. Uh, lift the heart up to the ceiling or the sky. Maybe the gaze lifts as well. And notice here if when you do this, if your belly kind of flares out, if your ribs flare out, and try to stay strong through the core of the body, still drawing the belly in and back to support the spine as it slightly bends backwards. Good. Breath in and out. Good. Gently come to center. Take the hands in front of you, rolling over the shins to come into tabletop. And from your tabletop, begin to tuck the toes under, lifting the hips up and back to down dog. And in this first down dog, find any movements you might need. Maybe you pedal the feet back and forth. Maybe you move through the arms. Maybe you move through the legs. Maybe you're finding stillness instead because that's more appealing for you right now. And take another couple of breaths here. And in front of your down dog as you're ready, let the right leg lift back behind you. A deep breath in. 
And without shifting forward as you exhale, bring your thigh to your belly, slightly round the back, glue the thigh in, so draw in through the core as much as you can to bring the thigh closer. Good. Re-extend the right leg back. Breath in. Exhale, thigh to belly. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, thigh to belly. Good. Round the upper back, start to shift forward, look forward, then maybe you step the right foot forward. Tighten to the fingers to lengthen the spine. A deep breath in and out. And inhale. As you exhale, step the left foot forward to meet the right and fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthens the spine halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, bend the knees, step the left foot back, drop the knee down to the ground, and begin to rise up into a low lunge, Anjaneyasana. And here, either keep the arms straight or bend at the elbows to find cactus arms, leaning back slightly, lifting the heart. You can either stay here or drop the arms behind you and grab opposite elbows or interlaced fingers. But either way, just like we did when we were sit sitting, keep drawing the belly back to find core support here. Maybe the gaze lifts. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale. As you exhale, lower the hands to frame the front foot. Lift the back knee and step back to a high plank. Good. Deep breath in. Stay here or lower halfway through Chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Good. Again, take a moment to find any movements you might need to walk your dog, so to speak. And then as you're ready, the left leg lifts. A deep breath in. And without shifting forward as you exhale, glue the thigh to the belly, slightly round the upper back. Inhale to re-extend. Exhale, thigh to belly. Inhale to extend. Exhale, thigh to belly. One more time, inhale. As you exhale, glue the thigh in, round the upper back, shift forward, step the left foot forward. Good, tighten to the fingers, find a long spine, but try to still keep most of your weight in your feet, not in the fingertips. Breath in and out. Inhale. As you exhale, step the right foot between the hands and fold forward at the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthens the spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. And as you're ready, bend the knee, step just the right foot back, drop the knee down to the ground, and then begin to rise up to our low lunge on the left side. And arms reach up or find cactus arms. Breath in, breath out. Stay here or grab opposite elbows or interlaced fingers. And just like we did when we were seat seated, if you're Interlacing fingers, gently press the hands and knuckles down into your back right thigh to lift the heart up. Find that support if you can. Breath in and out. Uh, inhale. As you exhale, lower the hands to frame the front foot. Lift the back knee, step back to plank. Breath in here. Exhale to lower halfway. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. And take a few breaths here. And inhale, bends the knees. Exhale to step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthens the spine. Exhale to fold forward. 
Inhale all the way up, the arms reach, eyes look up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Deep breath in, full breath out. Inhale, exhale. As you inhale here, the arms reach up overhead. And interlace the fingers and flip the palms up towards the sky. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, round the upper back, pressing the palms forward in front of you like a standing cow. Inhale, lifts the heart, lifts the arms. Exhale, round the spine, press the palms forward. Inhale, lifts the arms, lifts the heart. Exhale to round. And inhale, lifts the arms. And here, start to sink the hips back, finding Utkatasana chair pose. Keep the arms as they are if you can. If it's too much in the shoulders, feel free to release. And maybe you sit a little bit deeper. Deep breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale. One more. As you exhale, fold forward, release the hands. Inhale, lengthens the spine. As you exhale, step just the left foot back. Spiral the heel down to rise up to warrior one. Good. Really press out through the outer edge of the back foot to be here with support. Draw your left hip forward as best as you can. Take a breath. And as you exhale, hinge halfway forward. Sweep the arms back behind you, airplane arms. Inhale, sweep the arms down, forward, and lift up through the arms and torso. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, lift up through the torso. Exhale, airplane arms. Good. Pause here and either grab onto opposite elbows or interlace fingers, folding into humble warrior. Good. Maybe you rest the belly on top of the right thigh, or maybe you come to the inside of the right thigh. But try to stay in the bend of the right knee and keep drawing your right hip back and your left hip forward. Good. Relax through the head and the neck. Breath in, breath out. Inhale. And as you exhale, gently release the hands to the inside of your front foot. Drop the back knee down, wiggle your front foot out a little wider to the right, finding a lizard pose. And now you're welcome to either stay here up on the hands or you might drop onto forearms. You can just stay here and sink the hips forward, letting go of the head and neck. If it's available to you though, maybe you bend your back knee and reach back to grab a hold of the left foot or ankle. And you can always use a strap or a scarf to help with that grab. And if you grab a hold, start to gently lean forward some just to draw the heel closer to the seat and to release your left quadricep. Full breath in, full breath out. Stay active in your right foot and ankle, full breath in and out. Good. Gently release that back foot if you have it. Lift the back knee up off of the floor, engage through the back leg. And then here, start to turn your front foot out to the right, roll onto the outer edge of your back foot so you're almost in a side plank variation of the legs. You can keep both hands down for support or you can take the right hand to the right knee and really twist, drawing the left hip underneath of the right. Squeezing the inner thighs together, maybe you reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. And breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And as you exhale, lower the right hand down, step back to plank, lower halfway down. Inhale the cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe. Deep breath in breath out. Inhale and exhale. 
Here's your ready. Drop both knees down to the mat. Bring the toes together and let the knees come out wide and then sit back on the heels. Now here just to release through the quadriceps a little bit more. As you're ready, you're going to take your right hand back behind you and just push the pelvis and hips forward. Doesn't matter how far. You might reach the left arm up overhead or maybe you grab a hold of the back of the head or neck if you need a little more support there. Good. Keep drawing the tailbone into the body some so that you're shortening the back of the body to open through the hip flexors in front of the body. And breath in, breath out. Right, here gently lower the hips back down, come back onto your hands and knees, and from here drop both forearms down to the mat. And now you can keep the hands parallel to one another or you might interlace the fingers together. Either way, keep the elbows within the frame of the shoulders, not wider apart. And as you're ready, start to bend the knees and lift the hips to dolphin pose. But actively press down into the forearms, into the sides of the wrists if the fingers are interlaced, into the fingertips if they're not. Let the head and neck be heavy here. And if you want to engage your core a little bit more, you know, lift the right leg up if you can. Take a breath. Without shifting forward, draw the thigh to the belly. Round the back some. Press down. Inhale to extend the leg. Exhale, thigh to belly. Inhale to extend. Exhale, thigh to belly. Inhale to extend. Uh, gently lower the right leg down. And take another couple of breaths here in your typical dolphin pose, traditional dolphin pose. Deep breath in and out. And as you're ready, drop the knees down. Begin to return to downward facing dog. And as you inhale, look forward, step the right foot forward. Spiral the back heel down to rise up and open to warrior two. Inhale here and exhale. And now here in your warrior two, begin to give yourself a hug. Just reaching for the inner edges of the shoulder blades with the fingertips, squeezing the arms together. Now here, keep the arms crossed, but lift your forearms up. So we're working into eagle pose, wrapping the forearms. And here as you stay in warrior two in the legs, find equal pose in the arms. So squeeze the inner arms together, lift up through the elbows, up through the fingers, up through the heart. Keep sinking into the front thigh. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Deep inhale. Let it go. One more. And keep the arms as they are, but straighten the front leg as you're ready. Now here we're gonna take a balance challenge. So you're more than welcome to release the arms at any time, but we're gonna work into half moon pose with eagle arms. So start to soften your front knee. Lean forward, lean forward. Keep your back leg long and straight. And keep the hips stacked and open just like it was in warrior two. At any time, you can release the arms for support. Uh, take another breath in, a breath out. Inhale. So you exhale, release the arms if you haven't already. Lower the left hand down and the left foot down next to the right. Fold in at the top of the mat. Maybe you sway side to side or grab onto opposite elbows for a moment. Finding a more passive forward fold. Breathe wherever you are. Inhale lengthens the spine. Exhale to fold. 
Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up, the arms reach. Exhale, hands to the heart. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Right, as you're ready, reach the arms overhead and interlace fingers. Flip the palms to the sky. Inhale, lifts the heart. As you exhale, round the spine like cat pose and press the palms forward. Draw the belly in. Inhale, lifts the heart, lifts the arms. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. Keep the arms this way if you can as you sink the hips back to chair pose, Utkatasana. One long line from your tailbone to your palms if you can. And slightly lower the chin so that the back of the neck stays long. Relax your toes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale lengthens the spine. As you exhale, step just your right foot back and spiral the heel at that 45 degree angle or so. Begin to rise up to warrior one. Right, find that support from the back foot and back leg. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, as you exhale, lean forward, sweep the arms back, airplane arms. Inhale, down, forward, and up. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, sweep back, this time with the option to interlace fingers or grab opposite elbows, bending humble warrior. Let go of the head and neck as best as you can here. Breathe wherever you are. Deep breath in. Breath out. Inhale. As you exhale, release the hands to the inside. Wiggle the back foot back. Drop the knee. Maybe wiggle your left foot out to the left stem. I'd either stay up on the hands and just sink heavily here. Or if you want to take that quadricep stretch on this side, you'll bend your back leg and try to reach back with the left hand to grab a hold of the right foot. And if you do grab it, gently, slowly, gradually lean forward, taking the foot with you towards the seat to open and lengthen through the right quadricep. And stay active in the left foot and ankle, especially if your knee is falling out to the side somewhat here. Breathe wherever you are. Deep breath in. Breath out. One more inhale. As you exhale, gently release the left foot. And lift the back knee off of the floor. And then here, begin to turn the left toes out to the left. Come on to the outer edge of your right foot, starting to spiral the right hip under the left, squeezing the inner thighs. Either keep the left hip down and the torso closed off, or begin to peel the left arm up and open through the torso. And press into the feet, press into the right hand, squeeze the thighs, squeeze the hips. And breathe. Inhale, exhale, lowers the left hand down, working to unwind and step back to plank, moving through your vinyasa to meet and down dog. Knowing, of course, you can always skip vinyasa. Breath in here. Do you exhale, drop the knees down, 
Take the toes together, move the knees wider apart, sit back on the heels. And from here, just to open through the quadriceps a little bit more, take the left hand back behind you, start to press the pelvis and hips forward. Maybe you reach the right arm overhead or grab a hold of behind the head or neck. Keep drawing in through the belly, in through the ribs. Breath in and out. Good, gently lower the hips down. Begin to come forward onto hands and knees and drop down through the forearms. Again, arms are either parallel or your interlacing fingers. As you're ready, check in that the elbows are shoulders width apart and lift the hips up and back. You can bend the knees as much as you need here, especially if the hamstrings are tight. And let the back of the neck be long. And as you're ready, the left leg behind you. Inhale here. Exhale, glue the thigh towards the belly, the knee towards your chest. Inhale to extend. Exhale, thigh to belly, draw in through the belly and ribs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to extend. Lower the left foot down next to the right if it wasn't already there. Take a couple more breaths. Good. Gently lower the knees down, returning to downward facing dog. Breath in and out. So you're ready, look forward and step your left foot forward. Begin to work your way into warrior two, spiraling the back heel, opening the torso and hips to the right. Breath in and out. And here, give yourself a hug. Take your non-dominant arm on top. Reach for the inner edges of the shoulder blades as best as you can. And then keep the cross of the arms, but bring the forearms up and wrap if you can, finding Garudasana, equal arms. Squeeze the arms together, lift up through the elbows, up through the fingers, maybe slightly up through the chin and the chest. Stay solid and heavy and rooted through the legs and the hips. Breath in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Good, straighten the front leg. Here we're gonna work to find that balancing half moon again. So start again, you can either keep the arms in equal arms or you can release them right away. But start to walk your back foot forward, soften into your front leg. Slowly start to shift your weight, keeping the hips stacked as much as you can. Keeping the chest turned to the side as best as you can. And release your arms at any time when you need. One more breath. And release your arms if you haven't already done so. Lower the right hand down, the right foot down. Fold in at the top of the mat. Breath in and out. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale all the way up, the arms reach. Exhale, hands to the heart, samasthi tihi. Full breath in, complete breath out. One more breath in and out. And from here, we're gonna take full eagle pose. So as you're ready, start to soften the knees. 
And in here, cross your right arm over top of the left, finding your eagle arms. Maybe you just give yourself a hug if this is too much in the shoulders. Soften the knees and work to cross your left leg up and over the right. And you can keep your left toes on the ground if you need, or you can wrap the foot behind the calf if you're able. And breathe here. Squeeze the thighs, squeeze the arms. Either stay here or maybe start to lower the elbows towards the knees, slightly rounding the upper back to do so. And if you lower down, try to squeeze everything to come back up. And now here, unwrap the arms, take the hands to the hips, unwrap the leg and try to kick the left foot back into the left hand. And bring the knees together, reach the right arm up. You might stay right here or start to kick back into the left hand as you reach forward through the right arm and the chest, finding Natarajasana, dancer pose. Drawing the left shoulder back, the heart forward, the belly in, breath in and out. And inhale to gently rise up. And lower the left foot down, reach the left arm up, look up. And as you exhale, fold all the way down. And here, bring the soles of the feet together. Let your knees come out wide as you squat down. And here, just reach the arms forward as you let the hips drop back. Bending a more traditional squat just to release through the hips here. If you want to release through the shoulders a little bit more as well, you might take the arms back behind you underneath of the legs, sort of resting the shins onto the upper arms. Maybe the forehead comes to the floor, just reaches towards it. And inhale. As you exhale, bring your seat all the way down to the floor. Spiral the knees up towards the sky or ceiling, and then extend both legs out in front of you. As you inhale, reach both arms up overhead. And as you exhale, fold forward here into Pachimottanasana. We're gonna move dynamically here. So as you inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale to fold. Inhale to come all the way up, taking the hands back behind you. You can keep the legs straight or you can bend the knees. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, press down to lift into either reverse plank with the legs straight or reverse table with the knees bent. Inhale. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lifts the arms, Dandasana. Exhale to fold, Pachimottanasana. Inhale, lengthens the spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale all the way up, the arms come back. As you exhale, lift to reverse table or plank. Breath in. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Last time here, lift up as you're ready. Exhale. Gently lower down. Cross at the knees, roll over the shins, and find your way to down dog. Maybe you move through vinyasa. Breath in, breath out, inhale, exhale, inhale, bends the knees, coming to the top of the mat, lifting halfway, and exhaling to fold. Inhale all the way up, the arms reach. Exhale, samasthi to he, hands to the heart. And breath in and out here. And 
And as you're ready, start to shift weight into your left foot. Soften the knees. And as you're grounding more into your left foot, give yourself a hug with the left arm on top. Good. Reach for the inner edges of the shoulder blades. Good. And then find your equal arms, whether that's staying there, or going a little deeper. Good. If you're ready, cross the right leg up and over the left. Squeeze the legs into each other. Squeeze the arms into each other. Lean back slightly so the shoulders stay over the hips for support. Inhale here. Stay, or as you exhale, bring the elbows towards the knees. Breath in. Breath out. One more breath. If you lowered, start to lift. At the top, unwind the arms, take the hands to the hips, unwind the legs, try to bring the right foot right back into the right hand, bring the knees together, lift the left arm up, stay here or start to find Natara Jasana, dancer pose. Notice how this side feels compared to the other side. And it's not just diving forward, it's not just kicking back, but equal parts of both. So we're strongly kicking back into the right hand to draw the shoulder back. We're strongly drawing the heart forward. Take another breath. Let's slowly, gently start to rise up. Back the way you came, knees together, left arm lifts. Lower the right foot down, the right arm up, look up. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Once again here, bring the feet together, the heels together. Lift the heels, separate the knees, drop the hips. Either reach the arms out or take them back behind you. But either way, let the head hang heavy. Breath in and out. And as you're ready, come up and gently drop the hips back onto the ground. Extend the legs out in front of you, finding that dynamic flow again. And trying to keep the spine long the whole time. So as you inhale, the arms reach, the spine is long. As you exhale, fold, keeping the spine long. So bend the knees if you have to. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale to fold. Inhale all the way up, the hands come back. Exhale, lift, reverse plank or table. Uh, gently lower down. Inhale, lifts the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale all the way up, hands back. Exhale to lift. Breath in. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Last time, come all the way up. Exhale to lift. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hips. Good. From here, cross the shins, roll over, coming into downward facing dog, maybe moving through a vinyasa first. Deep breath in and out. And as you're ready, drop the knees to child's pose. Find rest. Whatever variation of child's pose is most comfor comfortable and comforting to you. Whether the knees are apart or together, whether the arms are in front or back behind. Let the eyes close and feel the breath move through the body. 
Feel the breath move, especially in the back body and the space between the shoulder blades. Check back in with your breath, with your ability to stay present with your surroundings and with yourself. A couple more. As you're ready, rise up and sit back on your heels. And here we're going to set up to take a few rounds of camel pose, Ustrasana. So if camel's not your thing, feel free to come onto your back and to lift and lower into bridge pose instead. Or to just stay in child's pose for a little bit longer if you'd like. I know that for some people, um, they can feel a real aversion to camel pose. So if that's true for you and you don't want to work on it today, don't feel like you need to. If you are working on camel pose, you'll rise up onto the shins. You can always have blocks back behind you as well to grab a hold of. And take the hands onto the low back. Draw the tailbone down. Lift the heart up. This might be where you stay. Everyone will take a breath here. And as you exhale, maybe you start to lean back, lifting the heart up. Maybe you're able to drop one hand or both to your heels or to blocks. You can either keep the neck neutral or you can drop it back if that feels comfortable for you. Breath in and out here. As you're ready, gently come up evenly the way you came in. Sit back onto the heels. Let the hands come into the lap. Just close the eyes for a moment. Take a couple of breaths here and let the spine just settle. Good. So you're ready, preparing for a second set. Either again, coming into bridge, supported bridge, or camel. And hands come to the low back, draw the tail down without tucking under, just lengthening down towards the ground. Lift the heart up, elbows come towards one another. And up and back, maybe you reach for the ankles or heels or blocks. Maybe you keep the hands on the low back. Breathe where you are. Draw the belly back towards the spine for support. As you inhale, slowly rise up evenly. Sit back on the heels, close the eyes, bring the hands where they're comfortable. Breathe. And one more breath. And last round of camel pose of Ustrasana. As you're ready, coming up onto the shins, make sure the knees are right under the hips if they started to go wider apart, that the feet are right behind the knees if they started to go wider apart or closer together. And lift the heart, draw the tail down. As you're ready, start to come back. Even though you're coming back, you're still lifting up through the heart and chest. Just like dancer pose, we're not just kicking back, we're not just diving forward. Here we're not just coming back and we're not just lifting up, we're doing both. That allows us to keep space in the spine as we bend backwards. Take another breath or two here. As you're ready, rise up and sit back, close the eyes. A few rounds of breath. And 
And from here, come forward onto the hands and knees. And just undoing some of that in the spine, just coming a little more back to neutral. As you inhale, drop the belly down, lift the heart into cow. And as you exhale, just find a neutral spine. As you inhale, drop the belly just a little bit less. And as you exhale, just slightly round the spine, so not a ton. Inhale, drop the belly a little less. Exhale, round just a tiny bit. Inhale, a little less. Exhale, a little more. Inhale, a little less. Exhale, a little higher. Inhale to neutral. Exhale to round. And pause here for a few moments. Just let the chin be heavy. Press into the hands, round the upper back. Feel the tail draw down towards the ground beneath you. And inhale to neutral. Right in here, begin to sit back and work to come down onto the back from here. As you come down onto the back, let the knees point up towards the ceiling or the sky. Let the arms come along the sides of the body. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, press down into the feet to lift the hips into bridge pose. Deep breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Exhale, rolls the spine back down. Let the tail touch last. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale to lift. And if it's in your practice to find wheel pose here, you might choose to do so. If it's safely in your practice, otherwise staying here, maybe even taking the supported variation with a block under the sacrum. If you're in wheel, the same principles apply, keeping the feet forward, the legs within the frame of the hips, the arms within the frame of the shoulders. Drawing through the belly to support the spine as it arcs backwards. And inhale, exhale to lower all the way down, let the tail touch last. Deep breath in, breath out, inhale, and exhale. One more round as you're ready, lifting into bridge, supported bridge, wheel, or just staying on your back if you'd rather, and press down to lift. Breathe wherever you are. Let there be an element of ease in your effort, even if that's only through the breath. Inhale. Exhale to slowly lower down. Let your tail touch last. And as you're ready, Knock the knees together, move the feet out wider apart towards the edges of the mat. And just windshield wiper the knees back and forth, side to side. Flex the feet and ankles as you do. And then draw the knees into the chest, rock side to side. And as you're ready, draw your left knee into your chest. Extend your right leg out long. Take a breath here. As you exhale, press the left knee across the body, coming into a twist. Maybe you extend the arms out into a T. Maybe you use the left hand to support the low back, and the right hand stays on top of the left thigh. Breath in and out. 
either stay here or bend the right knee and slide it up underneath of the left, finding our traditional supine twist with the knees together. As you inhale, come back to center, hug the knees into the chest, rock side to side. And then from here, just hug the right knee in, extend the left leg long. Inhale, exhale, presses the right knee across the body, finding your twist. Stay here, slide the left knee underneath of it. And inhale to center, hug the knees in, rock side to side. And from here, maybe you find happy baby pose as well, separating the knees, reaching for the outer edges of the feet or the backs of the thighs if you'd rather. Rock side to side or just stay still. Couple more breaths here, just releasing through the spine and through the hips. Draw the knees in. And as you are ready, begin to find your way to wherever it is you'd like to take Shavasana for your practice today. Whether that's lying down long and flat, whether it's maybe s staying seated in a meditation of sorts, Supported by props, unsupported by props. Sitting on something, covering yourself up with a blanket. Possibilities are truly endless. Just doing whatever it is that's most appealing to you. That's most comfortable and comforting. Where you can find a sense of undoing and rest. where you can let go of the breath and of the doing, of the effort and the movement, and instead find all of their opposites, the undoing, the stillness, the ease, the just being, resting and the knowing that there's nothing left to do, nowhere left to go, nothing left to be, Except here and now, in this moment and the next, in stillness.
Gently begin to deepen your breath. Taking your deepest breath in so far. And your longest, softest breath out. Reach your arms overhead, stretching from the fingers to the toes. Finding a full body stretch. From there, draw your knees in and roll off to whichever side feels best for you today. And as you arrive there, allow a hand to rest at your heart. And with your hand on your heart, come back to that sense of gratitude. That gratitude towards yourself for setting aside and committing the time to practice for you for practicing being present in this moment and the next, for your body, your breath, your life, and all the things that come with it. But most of all, for again, making the time showing up and knowing that that's always enough. With that same hand, gently press yourself up to seated bringing the hands together in front of the heart. And I just wanted to extend my own gratitude towards you, whoever you are, wherever you are, for sharing your time and practice with me. I hope that you're able to carry any benefits you may have with you now for however long you need them. And until I see you and you see me on your mat again, namaste.